This uh, video looks at the process of enrolling students into course groups via the umbrella course. And this is the umbrella course example here I'll be using. Um, as you can see, um, it's got guest access. That means that anybody who has this link can access the umbrella course, but they can't access the links to the courses where the teaching will occur. To do that, they have to self-enroll into a course group, and the instructions are here to follow. So let's work through them. In the top right corner of this course page, click Login, and then enter your Moodle deck username and password. Top right hand corner, click Login. So I'm going to log in as a test student. Then on the instructions we have, under course administration, look for enroll me in this course. There's course administration, there's enroll me in this course. So I just click on that. And I'm going to put in the enrollment key, which has been provided to me by my teacher. So now I'm enrolled in the course, and I know I'm enrolled in the course because I can see the links to the courses being delivered from Padstow. The next thing is for me to enroll in each of these courses following the same process where I click on the link and enter an enrollment key, which will put me into the required student group. Let's look at the back end of the umbrella course from the point of view of a teacher. So here I am logged into Moodle as a teacher who's been given access to the umbrella course. So I go to my home, look for the umbrella course which has got underscore UMB at the end of it, click on the link and you'll notice that I don't have editing teacher access to an umbrella course. Most people don't have editing access um, the course manager is the person who's responsible for managing the umbrella course and how it's set up and you should see their details, their email and phone number at the top. So if the teacher has any questions about um, how the umbrella course is set up, uh, they contact this person. The umbrella course is set up to be shared across multiple locations. So there may be links to courses which are used across all locations or courses which are specifically tied into a location. So if we scroll down here, you'll see here the Padstow courses. Um, because the student enrolled into a Padstow group, they only saw these links. Now, it's the responsibility of the teacher to go in and set up the group enrollment key that they give to the students with the link to the umbrella course here. So to do that, the teacher goes into course administration users groups. Looks for the group which has been set up for them by the course manager and goes edit group settings and changes the password to something which is nice and easy to communicate to the students. I'd recommend that um, uh, I, the same enrollment key is uh, used for the other courses that the student will be enrolling into, which are links from the umbrella course. So we talked about the course manager. Let's log in as a course manager and look at the setup. So here I am logged into the umbrella course as a course manager and you can see that I have turn editing on available to me. So as a course manager it's my responsibility to go through and add the links to the different courses that are being delivered in different locations. Um, it's also my responsibility to go through into groups and set up the um, 
specific group for a teacher um, and also once that's done assign that group to a location grouping so if we look at this example here you can see that I've assigned um, these three groups here to Padstow so if any of these teachers uh, students log into any of their groups they will only see the Padstow links um, and we have a group here for a teacher from Wetherill Park and only if, if any of the students log into this teacher's group they will only see the Wetherill Park links so that's what a course manager does and teachers should contact the course manager if they want a group set up